Hi friends, Chris here today. The selfie stick is on my healing bookshelf. I don't feel myself today. I don't, I mean, I don't, don't feel myself. I just, actually, I just woke up from a nap. I'm not quite awake yet, but I still want to do this program. And I've got this big listening audience. And when you have a huge listening audience, you have to pull yourself together and perform. A <laughs> good book, Christ the Healer by F.F. F. Bosworth. Another good book is The Bible. Hey, this is good. Somebody said you got any good gospel tracks. Well, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, those are good tracks. And my book, Jehovah Care. Not Obamacare, Jehovah Care. You can get it on my website, krischristjackson.org. But I know there's somebody today that's just like me. Your head's kind of hanging. You're in the dumps. You're sitting there in pajamas, and you're sneezing and sniffling and wiping your nose. And I want you to know today, folks, that your heart has a lot to do with your head and your your body. You need to get the heart right. He said in uh, in uh, Proverbs 4 and verse 22, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. In other words, life flows out of, the, out of your heart. Jesus said out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. And that word translated innermost being or in the King James belly is colea. We get the word colon from that. So you know, you let a root of bitterness get down in your colon. You let things start gnawing at you and it can, it can really defeat you. And so you got to have things right down on the inside. Paul said in Philippians 4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Now the reason for our joy is in the Lord. The season for our joy is always. So happy days, hurting days, humdrum days, oh hum days. Any kind of day, you have to learn to say, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, Proverbs 15, I don't remember what verse it is. You'll have to Google the word merry. It says, a merry heart uh, makes a cheerful countenance. Another verse says, uh, he that has a merry heart has a continual feast. And then you need to take your medicine. Proverbs 14 and, or 17 and verse 22 says, a merry heart does good like a medicine. So you got to take your medicine, take your gospel. That's a good pill. Take two tablets of that every day and praise the Lord in the morning and the evening. And then he said in James 5 and verse 13, uh, is any afflicted? Let him pray. Prayer is a great sustaining power. And is any merry? Let him sing psalms. So you got to learn to quit whining and start shining, quit pouting and start shouting. Learn to sing and praise the Lord. And then uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 14 is a powerful word. He said, the spirit of man will sustain his infirmity. In other words, what that simply means, if you've got a strong spirit, you're strong, you got the word on the inside, it will carry you through whatever kind of infirmity that goes on in your body. But he said, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? So if you allow ugliness to get down in your spirit and you get angry, a root of bitterness, uh, you start being eaten and fretting away with bad stuff. You know, the dietician says it's important what you eat, but I want to tell you it's just as important what eat eats you. So don't let anything eat you. Fret not yourself. He said in Psalm 37 verse 1, fret not yourself because of unbelievers. Don't let anything cause you to fritter or fray or fret. Don't worry. Be happy. That's what you need to say. Hey, let me tell you something. There's only two things to worry about. Either you're sick or you're well. If you're well, there's nothing to worry about. If you're sick, there's only two things to worry about. Either you're getting better or you're getting worse. If you get better, there's nothing to worry about. But if you get worse, there's only two things to worry about. Either you're going to live or you're going to die. Hey, if you live, there's nothing to worry about. But if you die, there's only two things to worry about. Either you're going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. If you go to heaven, there's nothing to worry about. But if you go to hell, all the worrying in the world won't change a thing. So here's my prism advice today. Don't worry. Be happy. I said, don't worry. Be happy. You know what the Shunammite woman said when uh, Elijah asked her, is it well with thee? And this is her statement, the Hebrew word shalom. She said, it is well. Could you right now just lift up your hands and say, hey, it's going to be all right. This is a good day. I'm happy. Therefore, I'm healthy. That's the key for you, friend. Get the heart right and the body We'll go along with it. These are Healing Truths by Chris. Come on now, brush your teeth, get out of bed, get some clothes on, pull yourself together, and be healed today. God bless you. Have a great day.